Um, I would like to know why is Poussin important after all? Well, I think he is the greatest French painter of all the history of French art, greater than, even than Cézanne or even greater than Matisse. Uh, he's, a, he's a great, but the, the trouble is that he is a very difficult artist. He, he, was, he was very ambitious in what, in, in, what, in what he was trying to do. I mean, his idea was not only to paint what one would see, but what, to paint what one does not see. That means the great moments of life, death, uh, birth, uh, love. And this was his ambition, how to paint this great moment of our lives of all uh, in one picture, understandable by everyone. So you said there are two types of collect two types of collectors for Poussin. Yeah. There are two types of collectors: art historians, who generally, even if they are working on uh, on Courbet or on uh, on Monet, uh, have always loved and admired Poussin, an artist. Uh, in each, each century, 18th, 19th, and of course, in the 20th century, all great artists and not so great artists also have loved Poussin. And I mean, it's a pleasure for an art historian to speak with a painter about Poussin. But what, who was the artist? Could you give examples? I think uh, the great, uh, I'll give you a very good example of a man I know quite well, Jeff Koons. Mm -hmm. Kunz not only loves Poussin but collects him. He has a real Poussin. He has bought not so long ago a very beautiful copy of a Poussin. He, for, for Jeff Kunz, Poussin is the greatest painter of all times. And what kind of subject? Uh, well, he is a picture he has is a quite early picture, quite erotic picture, ah. and the copy he is, has is of a very serious theme, uh, a very serious theme, a triumph. So there's this exhibition now in Lyon, which is exceptional about Poussin love, but more especially about Poussin and eroticism, I think. So it's what a, do you think about it? It's a great exhibition. I'm very pleased to have seen it, I've looked carefully. I will go back to see it another time quite soon. I think it's an aspect of, the, of Poussin, which uh, proves that Poussin was interested in all sorts of things. I mean, antiquity, uh, Raphael, of course, and uh, that he tries also to interest himself in this, um, in this sort of works, uh, going back, in fact, to the Greeks and to the Romans, who themselves were very interested in erotic uh, subjects. And I will, Poussin is treating these themes uh, in a way, uh, going back, of course, to Titian, but also to the antiquity. And uh, it's not wrong to think to the Greek vases, looking at these pictures. It's uh, the same approach, a very direct approach, but also an approach with um, not only to see things, but to think of what it means. What does it mean? It means that love uh, is a great moment of, of life and, uh, and that one should think of, uh, to, uh, of love uh, but on all sorts of ways. And all these ways uh, are treated. I mean, desire, uh, uh, contemplation, uh, all, all these aspects are, uh, have to be looked at. And I mean, the approach is a very direct approach, but also a very intellectual one. But we don't know much about his private life, right? We don't know so much. He was, uh, I think he was, uh, he, he had quite soon a very strong syphilis and uh, was in not in good health. I don't think he has a, had, had a very great private life before his marriage in 1630. I think he was not among the, these artists who in Rome in these years had a very free life. I think he was from the beginning a very reserved man, and a very a man more thinking to things than looking at things and participating to things. Mm. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie.